From being a complete underdog throughout practically her whole college career to shocking the entire basketball world on the big stage, Jasmine Carson undoubtedly stayed confident and positive in her abilities. And throughout every single trial and tribulation she's experienced, she's always been the type of player to use it as straight fuel and knew that eventually one day, her countless hours of grinding to be the best version of herself would pay off. This is the Jasmine Carson story. Born on July 14, 2000 in Memphis, Tennessee, Jasmine Carson knew exactly what she wanted to be at a very young age and on one very specific career day at her school. While all the other kids were dressing up as doctors, firefighters, and just things of that nature, she was the little girl with a basketball and a jersey on and had already made up in her mind that she was going to grow up and be a hooper. And growing up, she always had a rare combination of shooting the ball with immaculate confidence and outstanding shot mechanics at her age, she began her high school campaign at Memphis Central, where she went on to help her team to a district championship as a sophomore, but also did her thing while suiting up for Penny Hardaway's AAU team. But when things really started to go up for Carson came in her junior season when she transferred to Whitehaven High School, also in Memphis, Tennessee. On November 17, 2016, Carson put up 42 points and was simply unstoppable. And just like that, the momentum started to go up for her even more. And towards the end of her junior year, she would go on to have one of her best performances. Jasmine scored 48 points, 9 assists, as she set a Memphis High School basketball record with most threes made in the game, as she hit 14 of them in a win over Overton. And after that game, she received some recognition from a family friend, which was no other than Samuel L. Jackson. And that is someone who still supports her and gives her high praises till this day. Throughout her time in high school, she always showed how active of a defender she was and just always had a knack in that area, which made her stand out. Prior to her senior season, she had already racked up some offers from some pretty solid caliber schools, with Georgia Tech being one of the top ones. Following that year, she winded up moving to Atlanta and ended up transferring into McEachin High School, also in Atlanta, Georgia, the exact same school that former LA Sparks champion Taya Cooper attended, along with her younger brother Sharif and teammate Isaac O'Coral. As a senior, she put up 17 points in three steals, a contest, which allowed her to be tabbed in a Adidas All-American and 7A All-Region Player of the Year in 2018. She ended her high school campaign being named to the All-District all four years of high school and a 2018 Naismith High School Honorable Mention. Carson was ranked a three-star ESPN prospect and was regarded as a four-star by Prospect Nation. Jasmine ultimately made the decision to sign a letter of intent to play basketball at Georgia Tech. In Carson's freshman year, she didn't see the court much as she only averaged roughly five minutes a game and put up for that season two points a contest. But as a sophomore, she upped her average to nine points and took the floor in all 31 contests, including even starting in six. She scored double figures 15 times while shooting 36% from the field and 34% from three. Jasmine ended her sophomore year with her career high being 26 points in a tech win over ETSU as she went 10 for 15 team from the field and six for eight behind the three-point line but at the end of that season she honestly just knew that she could do better and wasn't complacent with her role now after that season Carson decided to make the transfer into West Virginia there as a junior she only put up five points a game but that next season she upped her average to eight points she shot 45 percent from the field and 35% from three, but also helped lead her team to the NCAA tournament as they made it as far as the second round until they lost to Georgia Tech. And just like before, Carson just knew that she could do even better and truthfully, she just wanted to bet on herself. And with her seeing the success head coach Kim Mulkey had during her first season at LSU, Jasmine just knew that she wanted to play for her. And after just 30 minutes of entering the transfer portal, LSU came calling 
which ultimately landed her in Baton Rouge. And as the 5'10 graduate student started practically the whole season, she averaged nine points, two rebounds, and one assist, while shooting 42% from the field and 35% from three. On February 19, 2023, Jasmine caught fire and scored 25 points while nailing seven threes, which was the most by any LSU player since 1997. Carson was only making 19.7% of her three-pointers through the first five games. Now, she had only scored 11 points in the tournament just prior to the national championship game against Iowa but also came in that game not being able to make a basket in her last three contests but still she had the utmost confidence in herself and was able to erase the long scoring drought she was going through along with the help of her teammates as they constantly told her quote-unquote shooter shoot and as soon as she entered the game, she instantly showed on how good she was truly feeling. First with the two free throws, which broke the long scoring drought, Carson went on to have a perfect half in which she hit all seven of her shots, including five three-pointers. She also set an NCAA tournament record for points in a quarter with 16. LSU had made seven three-pointers in the three tournament games prior to playing Iowa, and Carson was able to match that total in 15 minutes of game time in the national final. But what really sealed the deal was the bang three-pointer as time expired just before halftime. And just like that, Jasmine's absurd shooting allowed her to finish the first half being able to bury the Hawkeyes defense with 21 of her 22 points in the first half. That outstanding performance allowed her team to come out on top. Jasmine Carson's combination of immaculate confidence from three and toughness on defense has allowed her to be successful but has also always took advantage of every single one of her roles and opportunities which has not only allowed her to become a national champion but has also allowed her to reach WNBA bound. My confidence never goes away because I know how much hard work I put into this. Um, I know what kind of player I am and it displayed tonight, you know, no matter, you know, if I score zero, two points the last couple games, you know, I know what I can do. And it, it's a surreal feeling. I can't really explain it. I just, I just got to give the credit to God and my teammates and coaching staff. Um, you know, when you work hard, you can accomplish anything. And, you know, not many seniors get to go out the way I'm going out being a national champion. And with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Jasmine Carson story.